3 Companies with eVTOLs Worth Watching How many times have you sat in traffic, dreaming of suddenly hovering into the air and escaping the traffic jam? Or have you ever wanted to fly a car like in the Jetsons? Well then, you're gonna wanna watch this video as the technology behind your dreams is rapidly becoming a reality. eVTOLs is short for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. What that means is that this technology is the basis of compact aircraft that can take off from a standing position without the need for a runway to gain speed. Think of them like advanced helicopters with daily use, more similar to an automobile. Today, we're going to tell you about some of the latest eVTOL producers worth watching and key you into some of the finer details of how this innovative technology will forever change the world. But before that, if you'd be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, we promise to keep bringing you the latest in innovation and reports on the newest technology. Thanks! What's an eVTOL? Knowing that eVTOL stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing is the first step in defining the technology before we get into the innovators designing this technology. The first letter E stands for electric. This means these new modes of transportation are environmentally friendly. Unlike a traditional helicopter that uses either aviation fuel or gasoline, eVTOLs are being designed as an electric-powered alternative. Moving past the environmentally friendly aspects, the VTOL in eVTOL is the style in which these crafts achieve liftoff. As we explained earlier, eVTOLs don't need a runway. They can go from a park position straight to the air. Each eVTOL designer achieves this in a different way. So we'll explain how a little later. But the reason why achieving liftoff this way is important is that it will make the physical footprint needed for an airport incredibly small. Essentially, an expanded parking lot could provide enough space and these airports have been given a unique name. Vertiports These vertical liftoff airports will be the taxi hubs of the future, as eVTOL makes short-distance travel via air an affordable expense for the average consumer. Traveling locations within a 300-mile radius will be faster than ever if eVTOLs can break into the market. But who's making and designing these eVTOLs? Let's take a closer look. Jobby Aviation Jobby Aviation was founded in 2009 in Santa Cruz, California. The founders were a group of engineers that wanted to revolutionize battery tech for the better, but soon they were working to improve electric motors and flight software. It was a natural transition to begin to develop flight technologies through a historic partnership with NASA. That's right, by 2012, Jobby Aviation had signed a deal that led to them developing two significant projects with the massive aerospace company, the X-57, and a project called LeapTech. But they weren't just helping out NASA. By 2015, the company had a subscale prototype of their eVTOL design. By 2019, they had managed to build a full-scale prototype and even begin to develop the production prototype. Today, Jobby Aviation has been backed by Toyota to the tune of $394 million, which makes sense because their unique design looks a lot like the consumer-grade drones you're used to seeing today. The design features a unique tilt rotor design and can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, with a 150-mile total range. In a video posted on the company's YouTube channel, the production model achieves liftoff, hovers and tilts its rotors to achieve forward motion. This proof of concept is critical, and at this point, Jobby Aviation is in the process of receiving certification to get these eVTOLs in the air by 2024. Archer Aviation Our next company, Archer Aviation, has a similarly designed eVTOL but has made headlines due to a massive $1 billion order from United Airlines. Announced in February of 2021, United Airlines partnered with and ordered a $1 billion worth of Archer Aviation's eVTOL offering they've called Maker. Naker is set to be one of the most luxurious of the current class of eVTOL offerings, which likely led United to jump at the opportunity to be the first airline with a significant eVTOL presence. The design features stunning interiors and a wraparound window design that will provide 270-degree views. There will also be a 13-inch touchscreen interface that will display flight information and entertainment options. Safety has been a central focus of designers and they have built in several safety mechanisms that should prevent aircraft disasters. Things such as extra backup batteries and additional altitude sensors add a degree of protection to those choosing to fly with the Maker eVTOL. However, in comparison to Jobby Aviation, the output of the Maker eVTOL is severely lacking. The Maker has only a 60-mile range and can only reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, 
Despite the lightweight design, these vehicles are not meant for mid-range travel. Overall, the United Airlines investment is impressive and will be waiting until their 2024 launch date to decide if it was worth it or not. Beta Our next company shakes things up and moves from consumer transportation to the world of shipping and handling. That's not actually entirely true, but Beta is an aviation manufacturer that will supply the package delivery company UPS with 150 of their EVITOL aircraft. Beta is headquartered out of Vermont. Through their agreement with UPS, their EVITOLs will be instrumental in pushing forward UPS Flight Forward Division. The Alia 250 is meant to be a cargo-bearing model of EVITOL and would have storage space instead of seats for passengers. The aircraft can carry up to 1,400 pounds of cargo payload and has a 217-mile range. The Alia 250 will also have a passenger model. Still, even more impressively, Beta is set to develop a 20-passenger electric vertical aircraft for Blade. This would supply a sort of communal travel experience more similar to a bus, but with the benefit of taking to the skies for travel. While their developments are just entering the full-size model phase, the subscale model tests have been promising, and we look forward to learning more about their unique four-propeller design, but for now, all we can do is watch and wait. Evitals will change local travel as early as 2024, and efforts are already underway to increase their travel range and onboard capacities. While it may be a while until this technology is widely adopted, you can bet this decade will bring air travel via Evitals to most major cities. With Vertiports being proposed in the Orlando, Los Angeles and New York City areas, we'll soon be seeing these aircrafts in the skies above us. Do you think EVTOLs are helpful? What do you think about their limited range? Let us know in the comments down below and give us a like. We look forward to seeing you next time.